Hey everybody, Will from Studio Zombie 3D here. Today I'm looking at the Monster CRM4. This is the biggest printer I've viewed at 450 by 450 by 470 millimeters. It also has dual Y axis linear rails, which allows for nice smooth movement of the bed. It also comes with Wi Fi built in, so you can use Creality Cloud to monitor and load your prints, as well as a camera that you can use to monitor. They also have a new high flow hot end on their sprite extruder on the CRM4. As with most Creality units, it comes with auto leveling out of the box. I was really excited to get this printer, so let's get right into it. First thing we're going to do is get everything unpacked from the box. On the top, we're going to have our setup manual, as well as a pack of stickers. You also get a decent sized spool of test filament to use. Here we have our tools, assembly screws, and other accessories, and a pair of side cutters, as well as a nozzle cleaning needle. Here we have our touch screen. As well as the touch screen mount. And here we have our spool holder as well as our filament runout sensor. They also supply a small metal scraper with the CRM4 and then our two spool holders. And here we have our upright support rods. This just helped the Z-axis stay sturdy and have no wobble. Now we can get the upright out of the packaging and out of the way. A really nice touch with the CRM4 is that they have cable chains on all of the cables. Next, I'm just going to get everything laid on the table. And here I have everything laid out. This is an absolutely monster printer. I had to put everything on the bed because I didn't have any room on the table to fit it. Here we have our sample filament that came with the CRM4. It's a decent amount of filament, so you can get a few test prints out of it. Next, we have our dual spool holder as well as our filament runout sensor. Next, our side cutters, as well as a cleaning rod for the hot end. Here we have all of our assembly screws and our touchscreen and touchscreen mount. Here we have our power cable, some zip ties for keeping things tidy, as well as the USB drive with our manual and test files. They also include a hot end assembly, making it easy to drop out the old one and replace it if you need to. They also include the standard tools and metal scraper, as well as a detailed assembly guide. And of course our two upright support rods. The first thing we're going to do is going to get the printer base on that side and install the uprights. It's definitely good to have a pair of hands to help you with this one as it's a fairly large printer and pretty heavy. Once we have the upright secure, we're going to go ahead and attach the support rods and make sure they're tight. We're going to go ahead and repeat this procedure on both sides.
Once you have the support rods attached, you're going to go ahead and make sure these nuts on the top and bottom are tight. Now we're going to go ahead and attach the screen base. This simply uses three screws. Once attached, we can simply slide the screen into place and attach the cable. Next, we're going to go ahead and attach the filament spool holder as well as the filament runout sensor attachment. This simply clamps onto the top of the printer. Once attached, simply screw in both of the spool holders and plug in the filament runout sensor. One thing I would have liked Creality to put on here is the bearing type spool holders that they have in the Ender 3 S1 Pro. That would have been a really nice touch. Now we can go ahead and make sure all of the cable chains are secured to their mounting positions. And while we have the printer turned around, we're going to go ahead and plug in the stepper motors and the end stop switches. As well as the motor for the bed. Now we can go up top and attach the extruder cable chain. It just simply clicks into place. Next, we're going to bring up the Z-axis cable chain, plug in the cable, and then lock the cable chain into place. Over on the hot end side, we're going to go ahead and attach the cable chain to the bracket. And then we're going to go ahead and plug the cable into the sprite extruder. Like the other sprite extruders, it has a cable clamp up top with two prongs that help hold it in place. Simply open up the prongs and plug the cable in and it will lock into place. Now we can go ahead and power the CRM4 up and take a look at the menu. One thing about Creality is they always have really nice, clear, easy to use menu systems. And here we are on the main screen. On the bottom we have three tabs, Print, Prepare, and Tune, as well as a plus file button. Under the Prepare menu we have our Move, Feed, 
Manual auto leveling enters the offset screen on the main one. This is where we can load and unload our filament, set our various temperatures, as well as set up our leveling. Under the tune menu, we have absolutely everything we need to tune and calibrate the printer. Everything from speed to acceleration and jerk, even max corner speed is here. It's really nice having a full featured menu system like this, so you can calibrate and tune a printer without having to connect a PC to it. The CRM4 also comes loaded with several types of filament preheat settings as well as an improved accuracy option, which just runs an auto level before it starts a print. And on the second page of the tune menu, we have our reset, our Wi-Fi, our language, and our about screens. Now that we have the CRM4 set up, we're just going to run a quick auto level. It takes several minutes just due to the size of the platform. Another nice thing about the CRM4 is once you run out of level, you can actually take a look at the point. All that's left to do now is to try one of our test prints. This is the rabbit test print that comes with the CRM4. And here our test print is starting. With the increased accuracy option enabled, it's going to run through an auto level before it starts at print. Now I forgot to change the Z offset after I did the auto level, so I had to adjust it while the first layer was going down. It was pretty close, I just needed a slight adjustment. And here we are midway through the rabbit test print. This test print came out absolutely amazing. I was really impressed with how well the CRM4 did. Here's one of the prints I did on the CRM4. This is a Batman 1989 bus from Eastman. I printed all the models that I did on my CRM4 at 100 millimeters a second. It did slow down a little bit due to using small hole max size with Kira. I was blown away by the quality of the CRM4. It did an absolutely fantastic job. I printed this Batman bus, the stand, as well as a Joker bust on the same bed, and I still had plenty of room. And here we have Eastman's Joker bust. I was really impressed at the detail that this was able to come out at 100 millimeters a second. There was a slight bit of ghosting on the base, but that was easily fixed by adjusting the tension of the belts on the bed. I was really impressed with how well the CRM4 handled this.
Next up, I decided to print an Azure Cloudworm, an absolutely amazing model from Jukka Sapanen, over on my mini factory. I used Arion dual color black and green silk filament, and I was absolutely blown away at the quality of this print. The way the color shifted is absolutely amazing. The front of the dragon is green, while the whole backside is black. I was really impressed at how the CRM4 handled this. At 100 millimeters a second, the supportless print came out amazing. And the colors really stand out. I love how it shifts from black to green from the front to back, just perfect. This is just an absolutely amazing print. I highly recommend going over to my mini factory and checking out his other work. I'll have a link in the description. And I always have a lot of people asking me to print a bucket. They usually mean a helmet for a cosplay suit, but I actually decided to print a vase that was the size of a bucket. This thing is absolutely massive. So there, I have officially printed a bucket. Alright everybody, that was my setup and review of the Creality CRM4. This thing is an absolute monster and I love it. I highly recommend checking it out if you're looking for a large format printer. Thanks for watching everybody, be sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care everyone.